about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 2. Before we get started in that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us, Father. Give us wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and discernment about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the Spirit. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to and or listening to, just show us that person, Father God. We pray. If there's anyone here that has not accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior and they'd like to do so now, we pray John 3, 16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. So, Father God, we thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior today. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you to get into prayer with you each and every day. Just like what we're doing, listening for your voice and obeying what you tell us to do. Help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible, and show them the gifts and talents you've given them and how to use them for your glory. Pray over this person and everyone listening. And all God's people said, Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of First Chronicles chapter 2. So if you have your Bibles and you'd like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of First Chronicles chapter 2 and we'll get started. Thank you. These are the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, and Zebulon, Dan, Joseph, and Benjamin, Nepalti, Gad, and Asher, the sons of Judah, Er, and Onan, and Shelah, which three were born unto him of the daughter of Shua, the Canaanitess, and Er, the firstborn of Judah, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he slew him. And Tamar, his daughter-in-law, bare him, Perez and Zerah. All the sons of Judah were five. The sons of Perez, Hezron and Hamuel, and the sons of Zerah, Zimri and Ethan, and Teman and Kalkol and Dara, five of them in all. And the sons of Carmi, Akar, the troubler of Israel, who transgressed in the thing accursed, and the sons of Ethan, Azariah, the sons also of Hezron, that were born unto him, Yeremiel, and Ram, and Shelobai. And Ram begot Amadab, and Amadab begot Nashon, prince of the children of Judah. And Nashon begot Salma, and Salma begot Boaz, and Boaz begot Obed, and Obed begot Jesse. And Jesse begot his firstborn Eliab, and Edenab the second, and Shema the third, Nathaniel the fourth, Radiah the fifth, Azim the sixth, David the seventh, whose sisters were Zeriah and Abigail, and the sons of Zeriah, Abishah and Joab, and Ashahel three, and Abigail bare Amas, and the father of Amasa was Yether the Ishmaelite. And Caleb, the son of Hezron, begot children of Zubiah, his wife, and of Uriah. Her sons are these, Yashir, and Zobah, and Ardon. And when Azobah was dead, Caleb took unto him Ephrah, which bare him her. And Ur begot Uri, and Uri begot Bazilel. And afterward, Hezbron went in to the daughter of Machir, the father of Gilead whom he married when he was threescore years old. And she bare him Sagab. And Sagab begot Yer, who had three and twenty cities in the land of Gilead. And he took Ajer and Aram with the towns of Yer from them, when Kenath and the towns thereof, even threescore cities. All these belonged to the sons of Machir, the father of Gilead. 
And after that, Ezron was dead in Caleb Ephrath. Then Abiah, Ezron's wife, bare him Asur, the father of Tekoa. And the sons of Yermiel, the firstborn of Hezron, were Ram, the firstborn, and Bunah, and Orin, and Osman, and Ahiah. Yermiel also had another wife, whose name was Atariah. She was the mother of Onan. And the sons of Ram, the firstborn of Yamirel, were Maas and Yaman and Eker. And the sons of Onam were Shamiah and Yada. And the sons of Shaminah, Nadab and Abishar. And the name of his wife of Abishar was Abiha, and she bare him Aban and Molid. And the sons of Nadab, Selid and Apain. But Selid died without children. And the sons of Apim, Ishi and the sons of Ishi, Sheshan, and the children of Sheshan, Ahidi, and the sons of Yada, the brother of Shemai, Yether, and Jonathan, and Yether died without children, and the sons of Jonathan, Pele, and Zaza. These were the sons of Yeremiel. Now Sheshan had no sons, but daughters, and Sheshan had a servant, an Egyptian, whose name was Yahar. And Shishan gave his daughter to Yaha, his servant to wife, and she bare him Atiyah. And Atiyah begot Nathan, and Nathan begot Zabad, and Zabad begot Ephel, and Ephel begot Obed, and Obed begot Yehu, and Yehu begot Azariah, and Azariah begot Helis, and Helis begot Elisha, and Elisha begot Shishami. And Shishami begot Shalom, and Shalom begot Yekamai, and Yekamiah begot Elishma. Now the sons of Caleb, the brother of Yermiel, were Mesha, his firstborn, which was the father of Ziph, and the sons of Marisha, the father of Hebron, and the sons of Hebron, Kara and Tapioh, and Rikam and Shema, and Shema begot Ramah, the father of Yerikom. And Rekam begot Shemiah, and the son of Shemiah was Moan, and Moan was the father of Beth Zor. And Ephah, Caleb's concubine, bare Hadran and Moza, and Gaziz and Hadran begot Gaziz, and the sons of Yadia, Rigam, and Yotham, and Geshem, and Pelet, and Apha, and Sapheth. Makah, Caleb's concubine, bare Sheber, and Tirhana. She bare also Shaph the father of Madma, Sheba, the father of Machba, and the father of Gibeah, and the daughter of Caleb was Akasha. These were the sons of the Caleb, the son of Hir, the firstborn of Ephrath, Shobah, the father of Kershiyam, Salma, the father of Bethlehem, Harfith, the father of Beth Gader, and Shobah, the father of Kirath Jerem, had sons, Hayura, and half of the Mathanites. And the families of Karash Yeram, the Etherites, and the Puhites, and the Shushamites, and the Mizraites, of them came the Zazarites and the Estolites, the sons of Salma, Bethlehem, and the Nephrotites, Atarath, the house of Joab, and half of the Manathites, the Zorites, and the families of the scribes which dwelt at Jabez, the Tithrites, the Shemathites, and Zuchathites. These are the Kenites that came of Hamath, the father of the house of Rechab. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 2. I hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it today. What we're doing, as the Lord hath commanded, is to spread the gospel to the world. So we're going chapter by chapter all the way from the beginning of the Bible and until the end of the Bible. And the reason why we do that is God commands us to spread the gospel to the world. So just like our body needs physical food to grow and have energy, our spirit needs spiritual food, which is the word of God. And to grow and flourish as well and have energy. And so that's why it's important to get into the word of God. And also um, you can be able to discern between the truth and the lies and the truth will set you free. Okay, until next time, bye.